First Alert Focus. I'm meteorologist Andy Chilean, and we all have experienced it right during a cold snap or when those temperatures get colder. We're starting our car and we get that warning for low tire pressure, right? So why does that always happen when the temperatures turn colder? Your tire doesn't have a leak. It all has to do with the air molecules inside of the tire and how they behave during those temperature changes. So let's talk about it here when we have some warm temperatures out there. We have the air molecules inside of the tire. They have a lot of energy. They bounce around. They move very quickly, so they often push against the edge of the tire and therefore it has higher pressure. Well, what happens when we get lower or colder temperatures? Well, then they behave differently. Those air molecules during colder temperatures, they have a lot less energy. They don't move as fast. They stay or they huddle real close together. And so the pressure is going to be lower. They're not pushing up against the edge of the tire. And so there's going to be lower pressure there. And so for every about 10 degree drop in temperatures, you end up getting the tire pressure to drop at one PSI or pound per square inch. So for example, if the temperature goes from 70 during the day to 30 at night. Say you've got a 32 PSI during the day, you're going to about 28 PSI at night and chances are that's going to trigger the tire pressure or indicator light. Now, all this has to do with the ideal gas law. So getting a little bit math sciencey here, but the ideal gas law says that PV equals NRT. So P is pressure, V is volume, N is the amount of substance, R is the ideal gas constant, and T is the temperature. So if we use this equation, then to keep the equation balanced, is the temperature drops, the pressure would drop and vice versa. As the temperature goes up, the pressure would also go up in order to keep this equation balanced. And that would, of course, assume that all the other variables are constant. So this gives you an idea what happens, why we get different pressures during those temperature swings, especially when it gets cold. Chances are you'll need to be filling those tires with air.